Youngstown Click. I am in downtown Youngstown, and I'm about to introduce you to a place called the Lifeguard Academy. So um, I actually have so many questions. I want to find out what all they do. I want to find out who they are. And um, But I'm excited because I've heard good things about them, and so I definitely wanted to come um, tell you guys about it. So I'm heading into the Chase Building down here, um, right in the square of Youngstown. And uh, come on in with me. We'll check it out, ask all kinds of questions, and find out what the Lifeguard Academy of Youngstown is all about. All right, guys, I am here inside of the Life Youngstown Lifeguard Academy <laughs> on the ninth floor, but they are also on the 11th floor. And I'm about to introduce you to the founders and the coaches and the commander of this Lifeguard Academy and answer all the questions that we have about this. This is amazing because we are just talking about how important lifeguards are and how they really are first responders. And I can't wait to bring you all this information and just some of the things that I've already heard. And then stay tuned because at the end, we're going to give you some life-saving uh, techniques, just some quick things that, that you uh, could remember that might save somebody's life in the future. So I'm about to turn this around and I'm going to have them introduce them. So hello, guys. Hello. <laughs> all right. So Welcome these. To the Academy. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and introduce yourselves. Um, we'll start with you in the bright orange, and then we'll go over to the to the others. My name is the Honorable Kevin A. Tarbley the First. I am the founder and the coach of the academy. Awesome, awesome. Okay, and so from what I understand, you are all you are the co-founder, correct? Yes, ma'am. All right, so uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Luther Luther C. Bell, uh, commander slash coach in the Young Sunlight Guard Academy. You founder member. Of the Young Sound Academy, uh, Young Sound Life Guard Academy. Wow! So, you, Commander. So, how long have you been a uh, lifeguard? Uh, I've been a lifeguard for two years, going on three this year. Wow. Okay. Wow. That's amazing. So, I'll, I'll come back to you and ask you why you wanted to get started. All right. What about this handsome guy? <laughs> uh, James Brown. I'm a coach, <laughs> um, workforce development professional with the uh, Young Sound Life Guard Academy. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so explain to us a little bit about what Young Sound Life Guard Academy is. How long you've um, been open, and then specifically, who all is available to to take part of the Lifeguard Academy? Let me just start off. Okay, uh, I'm a former American Red Cross water safety instructor. Okay. Uh, when I was 18 years old, uh, I was a lifeguard for the Youngstown Parks and Recreation. I wow. wanted to become a an instructor, so I took the American Red Cross water safety instructor class. And for 10 years after that. I train young people for the 11 pools that we have, we had here in Youngstown. And wow. at one time, bef uh, and before I left in 1990, every pool had a manager that I trained as a lifeguard, assistant manager, and lifeguards. So a lot of people are going to recognize this face here. Yes, <laughs> yes. And, a lot, of and them, a lot of people could probably thank you for well, being alive. Now they do, but a lot of them <laughs> say they were, I scared the heck out of them <laughs> when I was training them. And one of my one of my favorite students is uh, Chief Barry Finley, uh, mm -hmm. because he was only a yay high, built like a fire plug, and <laughs> this young fellow was able to see. Back in those days, you had to do hand rescues. Now they have a what is called a rescue tube. Okay. Everything we did back in the time that I was training, it was all hands on, and you had to use your power, your strength to uh, get a person out of the water. Wow. Yeah. I can't even imagine. I, I've tried for fun pretending to be a lifeguard, <laughs> and I would, um, I have not been successful yet. Yeah, it is. But it is, it is, it is something that honestly, like, scares me, because if I were to need to save somebody, I, I, I mean, so the skill that you guys have, and then especially, like, with oceans, and, you know, all these different variables. I mean, just wow. And, well, ocean and, lifeguard is a totally different animal. Okay. A beach lifeguard, a, a pool lifeguard, uh, many of them can't stand up to an ocean lifeguard. Okay. Because they're dealing with the environment. And yeah. And they have to have the strength, the ability, the skills to deal with uh, open water. You got to yeah. be able to deal with waves. You got to be able to deal with wildlife. You got to be able to deal with the environment. So it, yeah. it's a totally different level of lifeguarding and that's something also that we're going to be working on uh this year uh for our young people that are old enough have prepared themselves in terms of swim conditioning and physical conditioning yeah. uh, so that they can meet that challenge when they go train next year 
to become a lake lifeguard. Wow. So real quick, um, you said you met, you left in 1990. Where did you go? I went to work for Youth Bill USA as the National Youth Coordinator. Okay. So a, a wow. lot of the work I was doing here in Youngstown, mm -hmm. they wanted me to replicate it on the national level. And wow. I did that for 10 years. Uh, for Youth Build USA. And then here you are back in Youngstown. Well, 30 years later, That's I, I came back and I said, before I take my dirt nap, I want to put my city on the map. <laughs> Come uh, for on. Something great. Yeah. Yes. And, and we're moving in that direction. And this young man right here. Oh, okay. So let's talk about this young man right <laughs> this here. This young man right here is helping me to do it. <laughs> let's talk about, okay, Commander, how long have you wanted to be a lifeguard? Um, at first, I didn't even want to be a lifeguard. At first, I was just going to the pool as a normal kid, like any other kid or yeah. anybody else. Um, and then one day, I uh, came up there. It was uh, part cloudy, and it was going to rain that day, but it didn't matter. You know, I'm going to be up there. Yeah. I'm a swimmer. My okay. Kid, but I want a swimmer. Yeah. So, Coach walked up to me and my friends. I'm the only one. Well, I'm in the front, but slash back because it's like it's a big guy, and it's a tall guy right next to me. <laughs> So he asked us, it was like, do y'all want to be a lifeguard? Uh, first, I'm like, like and the next I'm like, yeah, man, why not? Like, we might also just, just try it out. Might as well see how, how it's going to do good by us. And my friends, uh, he told us to be a class, what is the next day? Yeah, it was 9 o'clock. Yeah, next day, 9 o'clock. And we like, dang, so we already in the job? <laughs> right then there, we on the spot. So oh, wow. I go to their houses because we all live like right around the corner from mm -hmm. each other. So. Okay. I go by the houses, get them up. We walk from the east side to the north side. And we got there at like what? Like what time? What? I don't know what time we got there, but it was like right nine. Right before nine. It was like nine. I say on a dot. I say on a dot. But we get there. He see us walking up. We get there. Uh, we get in the water. It's cold, man. It's cold. <laughs> so I'm like, man, this is being like right the boat. I guess you got to get up early. You got to do uh, big things. Yeah. And next time I know where uh, we form uh, Youngstown Labor Art Academy out of it. But the other two, um, unfortunately, they weren't able to make it because they had other priorities and big things going on in their life. Okay. And they wanted more things that came that didn't come now, but, like, the things that came now in the academy didn't come before. So we was okay. really struggling at first, but I, I stuck in there and was like, why not? Let me let me see what this is actually going to take off. Let me see where it's going to take me. They, wow. they fled off, and I'm the only one in there. And then it's just me and Coach. Uh... We was in here for what, like a year? Yeah, like a year or just us two. Wow. And we uh kept fighting, kept pushing, kept doing community service by ourselves. We kept getting recognized by everybody. I uh, got a lot of awards off of it. It just wow. I don't remember, but I know. <laughs> Uh, I, got, I actually had a glass of water. I don't know what that one was about. Hog Parks and Recreation wow. Association, outstanding youth leader of the year. Yes. Look how proud he is and, when he and, says and that. Don't, don't I love it. The award for Senator Sherrod Brown. Yeah. I oh, okay. First, I want to I want to emphasize for that <laughs> OPRA award. Yeah. He beat out 1.7 million of his peers in the state of Ohio. What? That's right. That's why that I, I I beam with it, and he is the first one. Him and Lieutenant Scott were the first two Youngstown young people to ever have that award come to the city of Youngstown through the Parks come and Recreation on. Department. That's why I'm proud of him. So yes. awesome. So explain to us a little bit real quick about the titles, the, the lieutenants, the commanders, what's that? Uh, so obviously there's a hierarchy, and you explained to me it's kind of like a fire department because you guys are first responders. Yes, so what's the level ranking? We have a candidate. You can become a cadet. Okay. You can become a petty officer. That's like a sergeant. Okay. You can become a second lieutenant. That is a supervisor of 10 people. Okay. You can become a first lieutenant, which is really a um, supervisor manager role. Okay. And you can be the captain. The captain is the manager, the overall manager. Okay. And the commander is the CEO of wow. the academy. The commander, in order to get a promotion, uh, he has to either decide himself that he sees some leadership skills in a person mm -hmm. and he would ask him or her if they would be willing to serve in that leadership role. And then he will give them a, what is called a provisional appointment. Okay. Okay. And it's a provisional promotion. Then that provisional promotion goes to the board of directors of the lifeguard Academy. 
And then the mm -hmm. Lifeguard Academy Board of Directors have to approve his uh, provisional appointments. And uh, you have done that in two years. Yes, ma'am. I've been, had a couple of cats get demoted, had a, had a couple of cats uh, get promoted. I actually got demoted myself, like, to, to be honest. I, at first, I was like, well, it took a total of me. It took a part where I let my little anger get into it over at the YMCA, okay. uh, at the YMCA one time. And it, it, didn't, it didn't end up well. But I told him that I wasn't going to give up on the academy because, like, wow. my friends, they got the motor out of the academy. Wow. So they think that it was going to be like, okay, I'm going to come back in here and we're going to do what? Yeah. That's how they thought it was. But now I knew it was going to be a dog fight. I knew I wasn't going to be like, all right, I'm going to let you have that spot. Like, bro, you can have it. I'm just going to be in the academy. No, I came back from my spot. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> look at that fight. Originally, <laughs> originally <laughs> wasn't even a <laughs> commander. <laughs> Uh, last following year, I wasn't the commander. I was a lieutenant, second lieutenant. Okay. And then uh, as they promoted me to a second lieutenant, I think to myself, like, I did just get demoted, but that can't be a priority that's going to hold me back. I yeah. need that priority that's going to uh, make me fight and going to make me keep going stronger. So I kept growing stronger. And I told them cats, like, I know y'all might think that's just this a thing that I just I went through. Yeah. I went demoted, but now I'm coming from my spot back, and I told both of them that. I uh, hope no hard feelings between them two. But <laughs> I, came, <laughs> I came back from my spot. You came back, and you got it. Yeah, I you got, got it. That's back. and you're doing things. That's amazing. All right, so if you don't mind, I'm gonna bust. I'm gonna I'm gonna bust a myth. Okay. Yeah. All right. So my some of my black friends early on told me black people don't swim. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to give you the opportunity to bust that myth if you haven't already, because no, no, obviously no, you bust. And, yeah, and, and we have. You can see that is not true. And a lot of black folks are afraid of water because their parents were afraid of water. Okay. And if, it's just like anything. If it's something that you haven't done, you know, you may have. It may be something that you're afraid of. Yeah. And we have a lot of young people here, and this is a major. Uh, statistic nationally. Okay. Uh, young people of color, particularly young black people, yeah. are some of the biggest groups of victims of drowning, uh, either through a, uh, a water emergency, driving in a car, have a car accident, the car go off into the river, the lake, oh and they can't swim good enough to get them safe to save themselves. Or they may go swimming at a public pool and think that they could just jump into the deep and they're going to float. Oh, no, it's not yeah. necessarily going to happen. Right, right, okay? okay. So no, that's not a myth. That is a reality. We, okay. our group of, uh, our community is, uh, one of the, uh, communities that suffer the most by not learning how to swim. Wow. And, uh, and I'm glad you brought that up because okay. Captain Sierra Wilms, one of the lifeguard Academy, uh, when she got her lifeguard certification in 21, she went back to Mississippi State University and got her American Red Cross Lifeguard Instructors certification. Oh, that's great. Last summer, she came back and she led the Learn to Swim for the Parks Department at the YMCA. She led the Community Learn to Swim at Northside Pool uh, uh, for uh, uh, the Community Learn to Swim to young people. Yeah. Then because of her, after 30 years away, we were able to have a senior Learn to swim last summer because oh, of Captain wow. Williams. Come and then on. Captain Williams, along with Sean Crystal, trained 11 new lifeguards last summer. My goodness. Okay. And this was a first for this community after 30 years. Uh, that away. is incredible. Yeah. My goodness. And this is all happening in our great city that's of Youngstown, correct. Ohio. That is so phenomenal. That's correct. That is amazing. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay. And, and Commander Bill, Saturday, he and Cadet Jones uh, started their scuba class. Oh, and they are going nice. to become members of the Mahoney County Search, Rescue, and Recovery Team once they complete it by the no end of the No way. That always fascinates me at the Canfield Fair when they highlight, they showcase um, all these weapons and things that they have found in the, you know, yes, the scuba yeah. team. But yeah, I'm scuba certified. And uh, I, oh yeah, oh, oh okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so well, it's well, fun. It's definitely, okay, yeah. <laughs> it is yeah. definitely, it's definitely it's fun. fun. Oh man, yeah. it's, yeah, when you're able to achieve your, boy, your, your um, buoyancy, buoyancy yeah. oh, 
it is the best feeling when you could just go through the water, yeah, yeah and you could breathe and oh, I oh, love you know, it. You I haven't know, been, you know. I have not been in years. I, I have been in years. I, I, now you got me geeked up when <laughs> I told him <laughs> on Saturday when okay. I see him, right shoulder commander. <laughs> Listen, I didn't know that these guys were going to use the tanks. I thought it was just the flippers and the mask, easing them in. Oh. And these cats sending me video with them in the pool with the tanks oh, on, the <laughs> rear, and yeah. they swimming around. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. That was, had me fired up. Oh, my yeah. yes. God. We were trying to, we were trying to uh, what we was doing was we were trying to get our <laughs> boys to the point where like, you could yeah, yep, uh -huh. That's what we was doing. We was okay. To get that. In the pool and to get the yeah. feel of that. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I, I love that. About our, uh, uh, Snorkels and all that, and yeah. the gargoyles and how you get fogged up in the swimming night. Didn't yeah, 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 to get it cleared up. Yeah, yeah. uh huh. Yep, yep. And, and then you have to turn. learn. You have to learn how like the the air in your lungs work, so that yes. if you ever lose that air, and helping uh, share it with a friend in case yes. they lose air. Yes. I mean, so much to remember. Yes. Oh, oh man, yes. but yeah. So right. they're the cool. first two out of the academy doing this. Okay. Now we got eight, and I hope these eight. Coming behind them, pass their lifeguard class and their swim instructor class okay. because they'll be next in the scuba class. Wow. But this group is only 15, which is fine. Okay. I'm willing yeah. to wait. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's amazing. Okay, so talk to us about who can join the Lifeguard Academy and how they go about doing that. We serve Columbiana, Mahoney, and uh, Trumbull County. Okay. Trumbull County, because of Mayor Doug Franklin, is getting their own Lifeguard Academy. Coach Brown and I. Went and met with him in January. Uh, yeah, right around right the first of the year. That's correct. Yeah. Wow. And he said to us, we have to be delivered if we're going to save our young people. Mm -hmm. And that's my same belief. Wow. Everything I do, and for the past four years supporting this young man, <laughs> I've been very deliberate about uh, what I wanted him to learn. And you got to be patient. Okay? Yeah. Uh, so he said to me and Coach Brown, I want a Warren Lifeguard Academy because I know what these young people can get from it. So guess wow. what? This fall, they're going to have a Warren Lifeguard Academy. Come we're on. We're with Dave Potter. Of Mr. The, yeah. Mr. Potter next Monday. Next Monday. Monday, 11 a.m. Of the Trumbo Family Fitness. Mm -hmm. And we, on April 4th, we had a uh, room full of folks here for the Mahoney County, the first ever Mahoney uh, Valley Park Directors Meeting, which included... Representatives from the U.S. Uh, National Park Service. Wow. Mr. Parter said in front of all of them, I want to house the Warren Lifeguard Academy <laughs> as a training location. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so speaking of this, let's show this room. Sure. This is where you have classes yeah. and teach what the general, like how to swim and watch the videos. and Or do they already need to know how to swim before they enter the Lifeguard no, Academy? No, and when, when uh, Commander yeah. Bill joined, they needed to know. Now okay. we're moving and we're expanding to another phase now. Okay. And uh, they don't and won't need to know how to swim because we're going to, uh, again, have uh, 30 young people from Youngstown, 30 from Warren, uh, that are going to be in the uh, age group of 15 to 24. Okay. Uh, they can come in knowing how to swim or not knowing how to swim. Uh, wow. Commander Bill, as the commander of the academy, has appointed a uh, first lieutenant who is going to be in charge of uh, swim conditioning. Okay. Cadet Jones is uh, currently interviewing. Uh, and when these two guys get their uh, water safety instructor certification in August, uh, I told uh, Cadet Jones if he uh, uh, carry out his performance in the uh, scuba class, uh, what he's done with the swim conditioning part of the academy, mm -hmm. I would hire him as the swim conditioning coach. So wow. he will be joining the staff. So wow. that would be two academy members who will become uh, a uh, major part. Yes. yes, that is so beautiful. Wow, amazing. Okay, so let's just say then somebody's watching this and they decide that they want to join. Are there um, like certain months that's opening or that the program starts, or how does that work? We are actually in March starts our our recruitment period every year. Okay, so they would need to call uh, Coach Commander Bell. What number you want them to call you at, Coach? You can call me at 330-261-7135. Okay, guys, and I'll definitely put this on the video, too, so you could see that. Go ahead and repeat that one more time for them. 330-261-7135. Perfect. Okay, yeah. and then they just tell you that they're interested. Yes, yeah, wonderful. They just want to collect all their vital information, mm -hmm. 
Uh, we're going to have it on our list. August, they're going to get a call back saying, hey, orientation, pre-orientation is going to start September X, Y, and Z. Okay. Uh, they'll come in. They got to uh, uh, go through the pre-orientation, and Commander Bill at the time will look at the folks in the group. <laughs> He's going to determine who's coachable because we're going to ask that question uh, and who's not. Yeah. Because this is not for everybody. Just because you say, I want to join the night academy. <laughs> right. work that I want to go see all the girls yeah. and the guys. Yeah. 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 I have to remind people, this is not what we're here for. Yeah. We're here to <laughs> save lives. Right. Uh, just as our poster said, we save lives. Yeah. 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 Yep. Oh, and then, look at it. There's a good, fine-looking picture right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. I keep trying to tell them that's the brand look. Yeah, there you go. See? There you go. And you already getting uh, affirmation. Mm -hmm. That's the look. That's, uh, right. <laughs> that's good. Okay, so how much is it? What? The program. Nothing. Yeah, it's free. It's not, it's not fun for them. Oh, the whole thing is free? Yeah. When they oh. enroll in this program, they're doing community service. Okay. So for wow. every hour that they are a part of this program for 144 days, yeah. that's community service. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So Commander Bell, when he was Captain Bell, and they grew, first started with 10 of them, yeah. they did $30,000 worth of community service from September 2019 to uh, December 2019. Wow. 30,000 worth of community service back to Youngstown. That is incredible. Yeah. yeah. And so needed. Um, I was sharing with them before um, we started the video that my dad actually almost drowned as a kid. And somebody in the pool say, saw him and um, just saw that he was struggling and saved him or else he would have drowned. Mm -hmm. So the value of that is personal to me. Um, what you guys do and train people to do, you know, is very, very personal. That's amazing. Is there anything else uh, before we ask the question? Oh, and how did you? Let's let's go back to you. Okay, we haven't heard from you too. Okay. Much. Right. <laughs> how did you get connected with this organization, and what? Why? Why did you decide to to come alongside as a coach? Well, um, I've known Mr. Tarpley for over thirty years, and I saw him when he came back. Um, I was on a rehab assignment, rehabbing my knee. I, I blew out, <laughs> and I saw him, and we started talking. And uh, I already have a national apprenticeship. And so okay. I uh, let him know that this is right for a national apprenticeship piece. Okay. And this is where we're headed. We're heading to a national apprenticeship. I'm a work workforce development professional. And uh, we just recently went in November. Uh, the Department of Labor, uh, this, they break uh, the country into regions. Okay. This is region five. Normally okay. our conferences are in Chicago, but Chicago in the wintertime, I've, I've been doing, I've been uh, going to conferences since like 2006 and Every time that you, you get snowed in or something like that, yeah. we decided to have it in a warmer area. So we went to Charlotte in November and we did a presentation. And everybody was so pleased that there's a possibility of an apprenticeship to create a lifeguard first responder piece wow. because of the career pathways that there are. So people just think that lifeguarding is just summer. I'm going to have fun and do Baywatch stuff. No, right. <laughs> it, it's actually on your way to a career. So wow. um, some of the uh, partnerships that we have already uh, accumulated. Uh, with the Stone Laboratories in, in Cleveland, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Association, Stone Laboratories. Mr. Bell, when he's done scuba, if they need a scuba person to scrape barnacles or whatever, he's going to make a large sum of money. I'd say 50000 wow. to start per year. So if that's what he chooses to do. But yeah. that's what that, and I created a, a career pathways chart uh, for our presentation here to the Parks and Recs people. Okay. And it showed them as people level up, they yeah. can become first responder EMT, first responder fire person, um, scuba. And uh, we have uh, one of my uh, co-chairs uh, on NADA, the National Association of Workforce Development Professionals. Uh, she's the Workforce Development Director in Virginia. Okay. And she said if Mr. Bell, she met him at, at the conference. Okay. If he wanted to, as soon as he got scuba certified, he can go to the harbor out there in uh, Norfolk. Yes. In Norfolk, Virginia, yeah. wow. and start at sixty-five thousand. Come on! Yeah. Wow, wow! All because you worked for that spot back. <laughs> right, you got a spot back. Yeah, but you then too, he's, the dedication. And, and, and when I see a guy like this, uh, he's learned and become more disciplined, and he's come focused. And, and these things are, are, are lining up. He can go whichever direction. And, and the flowchart that I created 
was the image of a swimmer, which was which, and I didn't even show him yet, where they started where they started as a lifeguard, yeah, and then they were leveling up to um, water uh, uh, structure, so uh, safety structure, yeah. and then certified pool operator. And then next thing, you know, they can go to um, wow. the dive team. Then they can go work in uh, Cleveland and Putin Bay or work at the Norfolk uh, uh, wow. Ship Harbor. Yeah. You know, so those things add up. Those are, those are jobs. You love swimming and you, yeah. can, you can make a lot of money. And so then, let me, okay. And the other major thing I didn't want you to leave out here without knowing, we now have a verbal agreement with the uh, Indiana Dunes National Park. They were directed by the director, uh, Mr. Sams, who is the uh, U.S. Park Service director, okay. to come here and see what uh, the Academy was about. And both the Rangers spoke with uh, Commander Bill and the other staff, and they recommended to their superintendent that they, that we need to form a formal relationship with the Youngstown Lifeguard Academy. Their words, uh, Stephen Fisher, the ranger I spoke to, his words were, you are the people that we've been looking for for a long time. No yes, way. Yes, yes. And, and uh, in, Jan in June, Coach uh, Brown and Coach Bell, and along with a couple other staff, yeah. we're going to go to Indiana Dunes and we're going to hammer out uh, our MOU or MOA. Wow. And that includes a commitment from the department of $500,000 uh, over a two-year period. Wow. So $250,000 a year to support our ramping up. That's to get amazing. People, yes, to get young people ready from the Valley to go work Come at on. Indiana Dunes. Yeah. And then their sister park, Cuyahoga Valley, which is right up the street. Yeah. They're a little salty now. <laughs> uh, because, see, they told them about it. Yeah, they didn't come down. Right. So we told them we're going to start with you first. Yeah, we're sending our 17 and older uh, young people to you for all uh, first. They want them bad. They want to train them to become lifeguards at 18 bucks an hour. They wow. want to train them how to fill out the federal application because once they graduate high school, they want them to come work yeah. for the come National Park on. Service. And they wow. said, Kevin. We don't care if they work here or if they work anywhere in our 400 parks. We need people. Yeah. And they said once they are lifeguards, they know what kind of people they're going to get. Yeah. Uh, so I am so fired so up. Excited. Yeah, so excited. What, what, what position can you come right out of high school? Oh, and do something you love. You do something you love, make, uh, make money, but then you're leveling up again. Come on, yeah. You're going to go through a national apprenticeship. At the end of it, you're going to choose yeah. where you want to go, and you can you you're going to make your own calls. Um, so, what's the age limit generally? Twenty four. Twenty four. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So anywhere girls, anywhere in high school. Uh, 15, to 24, 15, 15, to fifteen to twenty four. Okay. Yeah. See, uh, I don't want a college student coming in here thinking that hey, I'm going to do what I want. You won't be here. Right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. This requires yeah. discipline. Yeah. Like he told you, he told you what he went through. Well, and if you guys are first responders, we don't yeah. want half exactly. half committed people, yes. you know? Yeah. yeah. Because when I give an order, I manage the north side pool door or something. When I give an order, this is not a discussion. Right. You, you follow the direction or right. you can go yeah. home. Yeah. Okay? Because somebody's life can be at risk. Tony Jones. When he worked for me in 219 as a lifeguard at 16, yeah. uh, one day he said to me, Coach, how am I doing? I said, bro, you too aloof for me. And he <laughs> said, what that mean? I said, I sent you down there to uh, get that toddler away from the water because he was about to fall in there. You turn and dap up your boy. Okay? <laughs> that was not the direction. You should have just went and took care of yeah. that uh, toddler. Then you can go dap up your boy. Right. Okay? So the very next day, He's got the 10 feet. Two little girls jump off the diving board one after the other. He had to do a double rescue. It changed his life. Okay? It changed his life. And that is very rare for a first-year lifeguard at right. 16 to have to do a double rescue. Double rescue. rescue but mm -hmm. thankfully, yes. he had a good instructor. Well, mm -hmm. I'm glad he uh, paid Jeez. attention. Yeah. All right. On a side note, I just got to sh shout out your shoes. No, 
<laughs> no, listen, listen. Like not to put, I just thought they were cool. I've never seen shoes that look like that. So, <laughs> but he Sorry doesn't do you wrestling. You know, he don't, so. No, no, he yeah, don't, no, he don't know. It looks like he's walking in a cloud. They look like but, little clouds. But, but see, this guy right here, he has an opportunity. His one of his end goals, which he can change any time, is to become an underwater welder. Yep. Now, an underwater wow. welder starting out six months worth of work. Yeah. To make about one hundred fifty thousand dollars. Yep. Max out. Yep. What? Four hundred fifty to five hundred thousand. If, right, he, guys. if he's sought after, you know, yes. but they can only work six months. Yeah. And as he's uh, taking on his scuba right now, he's learning what it, the toll it takes on your body. Yeah. So. Um, and I told him, dude, please just promise me if you do do the underwater, well, just do 10 years because it's a very dangerous job. Yeah. Very dangerous. Yeah. That's why they make so much money. And if you're really good at welding, like Coach Brown said, yeah. your name gets around, they start looking for you. You can max out at 550. So imagine doing 550 for 10 years. <laughs> That's not even counting the investments you make in the meantime. Correct. Yeah. Wow. But only six good. months worth of work. Only six <laughs> months worth of work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And man, I, opportunity, I, yeah. Listen, opportunity I, I, follows I, I a love the dude like a son. So I'm, I'm, gonna I'm make serious sure about it. Yeah. I would only want him to do it for 10 years. I would yeah. be, I think I'd be destroyed if something happened to him. Yeah. Mentally, I really do. Yeah. Oh, man. look how loved you are. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it means a lot to me because yeah. you don't see young people with this kind of grit. Yeah. Particularly the young people that have gone through and lived in a situation like he's lived in. Mm -hmm. You see them turn to the street. You see them uh, have mental uh, disorders. Yeah. You see them just uh, get depressed and they give up on life. And this young brother has been a fighter. Yeah. He's spoiled. <laughs> but he has been a fighter and uh, has come back from the brink. So wow. uh, I do. He really do uh, have a special place in my heart. That's incredible. Yeah. That's so incredible. You know what? Mentorship has a lot to do with that as well. I was just talking to a guy yesterday that he um, was getting into a lot of trouble at the old school East High, mm. and um, was falling into the wrong crowd. Did a bunch of stuff, and then somebody stepped into his life. And sent him to a trade school in Cleveland. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And changed his life, you yeah. know? So it's mentorship is huge. Yep. And well, being willing that, to submit yourself to mentors. As you say that, one of my, my favorite sayings that I go by, uh, by Frederick Douglass, it's easier to raise strong children than it is to repair broken men. Yes. Amen. So in another uh, thing that I do, we have to deal with individuals. I... Um, teach some classes in prison and I uh, visit and see them wow. come out and um, if they had something like this they would not have had to do uh, the time that they that's did something so, yeah. yeah so thank you guys yes is there anything else that you would like to say about the program before I change gears and ask our <laughs> last and final question and then um, hopefully you could show us like some either um, the Heimlich maneuver how to do it on yourself how to do it on somebody else or as the CPR basic moves so that they could like kind of keep that in the back of their mind and um, maybe use it someday. Um, but, but is there anything else you would like to say about the program? Anything you would like to say to the people watching about your experience? Um, anything. Here's your, your chance. All that I say is, y'all, man, keep your head up. No matter what you got going on in your, in your mind and in your spirit, if you feel that you could do that, you, you make sure you do that because anything is possible. I love that. That's powerful. Nice. Yeah. All right. Any any last uh, words? No, we, for we just could? want to help uh, whatever career pathway they want. It's going to be available for them. Just That's beautiful. Yeah. Right yeah. That's awesome. And yeah. with you on staff, I clearly it's a very good partnership mm -hmm. to have yeah. your expertise. Yes. All right. What about you? Hey, Young Sound Lifeguard Academy. We save lives on the pathway to a career. There you go. I love it. That's wow. That's good. All right. So last and final question, three places that you guys love in this region, and it could be anywhere between Young or Pittsburgh and Cleveland. That's what we call the Youngstown Click region um, that you definitely recommend to other people to find, to check out, whether it's a favorite food place, um, another organization. What do you got? We want to go first. Putting you on a side. Luke, Luke, you go first. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah. What's your, what's your, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, he truly, this is truly on the spot. You thinking about Which it? one of your favorite places to go that you're like, you would tell your friends, hey, you got to check this out? Oh, um, I'd say Sports World. Ah, uh -huh. okay. 
something to eat. I'm gonna say Chick Fil A. Oh, okay, all right. I got four. So, okay, go ahead, so go ahead. Two more. The two recommended spots is the chill and the relax is the Southern Park Mall. Okay. And Tinseltown over at the movie. Oh, oh good right. call, good all call. Right. And at Tinseltown on Tuesdays, do you go on Tuesdays? No, I, I only go like the weekdays when I. Okay. So, well, that's good. They used to focus on the weekdays. But yes. Tuesday is discount day. So you get $6 movie tickets. Ooh. And if you Look are signed up. Yeah, yeah he likes that. <laughs> and if you're signed up with your email or phone number, you get another 50 cents off. So they're only five fifty a ticket Whoa. on every Ooh. Tuesday, all day. Right. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> hey, but stay, stay focused. He's going to be mad yeah. at me. Like, why'd you tell him? No, no Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday yeah, evening. Tuesday, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. After work. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 All right, yeah. I, I want him to do things, uh, fun things. There's yeah. A lot of fun things he should be yeah. doing in, in his life. Relieve that stress. Relieve yeah. the stress. Absolutely. I yeah. like, uh, what's that go kart place right there in Borman? Yeah, Sports Sports World. World? Yeah, that's. Oh, we got two for Sports World. In fact, I'll be visiting as soon as they open it up. um, We we have plans to go um, with the MLO Bros. We're going to do like race cart. Uh, we're gonna race on oh, that. Oh, yeah, like that. Yeah, that. Yeah. oh yeah. Watch watch that. That. Hey, we're gonna bet on which car they come. Oh, that's a good idea. Like live, live stream it. Oh, that's. But, 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 but all the money goes to some to your favorite charity. There you go. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Promotional. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at this. we can do. Oh, wait, I need more. to. I need to sit yeah. around this round table or this square table and we'll brainstorm more. Yeah. Yeah. My goodness. I'm gonna tell you my other favorite place. Handles. Ice oh cream. come yeah. on! What kind? What flavor? Hey, I love vanilla. <laughs> they used to have a white chocolate mousse. I wish they would bring it back. All right, yeah. candles. Man, I you would hear buy that? A gallon of that all the time. <laughs> yeah, the white chocolate mousse. Okay. And then uh, my favorite pizza is Uptown Pizza. Oh, yeah. I love me some yeah. Uptown. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right, all right. Yeah, and they're like I think one of the oldest in yes. Uptown. Yeah. Yes. That's man. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I know we used to have for lunch. Well, I guess lunch already passed. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't well, mean to say Little Caesars, but I. Little oh, Caesar, Little Caesars. Uh, no, that's you. Yeah, that's you, man. Brandon. You like those those teenagers like that $5 yeah, deal. Yeah, yeah. That's all it is. Well, see, he don't that's know about, about the franchises that have been here, you know? Right. Because he's a young guy. So, yeah. Right, right, no, I right. Heard right. Pizza, I heard Uptown Pizza, pizza, though. I, it is good, though. I had it a couple times. No, yeah, Uptown Pizza is lovely. Like, yeah. <laughs> lovely. All right, yeah. You see, now, as you yeah, go there, there, see, now I'm going to go with my three. Okay. I'm going to Bellaria, old school. Bellaria oh, Pizza. Oh, yep, yep. Yeah. Classic, classic. Old school. Yep. Old school. Uh huh. Um, my other place is Dope Cider House. Ooh, my good oh. friend, my good friend <laughs> Hannah Ferguson. Yes. Okay, okay. Make sure she that sees one. it. That's an amen one. Yeah. Yeah, make sure she sees it because she's All about right. to do big things. Okay. All and right. then my other place is Dreams. Ooh, Ooh, what is that? Yes. Yeah. Oh, no. that's, Dreams. That's, that's adult entertainment. Well, <laughs> well, no, not that kind of adult entertainment. Dreams is a sports bar. Oh. On, on the west side. Okay, uh, okay, I'm okay. Still I'm still that's why I said oh, that. don't, okay. Yeah. I was like, what? Is, not, I, not like, that I, kind I, of adult <laughs> Yeah, dream yeah. the sports bar. Yeah, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, was, no, no, I know. I was like, <laughs> we got. No, dreams all right, all right. Dreams yeah. is a yeah, sports yeah, bar yeah, yeah. on Steel the Street. west side. Steel Street. Yeah. Oh, Steel Street. Yeah. Okay, right, got right it. Just to the freeway. Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, I hear there's a couple good restaurants. Um, do they have food at Dreams? Yeah, yeah, they yeah, have food. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I hear. I heard they they have good food in those places. Very good. Along there. Good drinks. Food and good drinks. Okay. Food and libation. Yeah, libation. So we know where, yeah, yeah. yeah if yeah. you guys ever want to find this guy, you know where to go. <laughs> yep. I'll be right there. I'll be right there. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, thank you so much for this part of the interview. Um, you guys, seriously, thank you for what you do. I'm so excited for Youngstown Click to be able to see this because there's just so much that you guys offer here right under our noses. Um, and I just, it's, a, I think it's incredible and making waves all over the, the nation, there which is go. really making cool. Waves. Oh, making, waves. Oh, like <laughs> making waves. Making waves. Making waves. Making waves. So, um, all right. So guys stay tuned because we are about to show you some life-saving techniques by our instructor over here. Uh-oh. Um, or uh, anyone, anyone. Yeah. 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 To demonstrate. Okay, all right, let's do it. And this is a, a choking victim. Okay. Okay. All right. Remember Universal Sign? No. 
Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, ready? All right, hold on. Let me get on this side. Let me get on this side. Okay. So you're going to be sitting down. Oh boy, we're about to see how good acting he okay, is. Okay, so this is, we're going to demonstrate uh, the choking victim, uh, how you assist a choking victim. Okay. So first of all, you have to recognize that a person is what they call in distress. Okay. Coach, so you see him with his hands at his neck. Are you okay? Are you okay? Can you breathe? Okay, hold on. You lean him forward. Okay. And then you give him back blows. To help okay. them dislodge the item that's in their throat. Okay. If it doesn't come out, okay. Yeah. Now you're gonna have to stand the person up. Stand up for me. Hold on, hold on. And then you're gonna position yourself. Okay. Okay. So you could do a Heimlich. So you got it right here. Okay. This is sternum. So you want to get below that. Okay. And you want to be able to force the air up. Okay. To the diaphragm. Okay. okay. So that he can dislodge the What's item in that's there? in his. Okay. Throw, okay? Okay. So I'm going to uh, like, demonstrate okay. and make it like I'm giving him three quick thrusts. Uh, okay. One, two, three. And then uh, okay. it will expel. Are you okay, uh, sir? No, okay. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to call an ambulance for you, okay? Just to have you go to get checked out. All right. So wow. call 911, please. Yeah. And it's like. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Man, you yeah. guys are good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So you just you want to observe the victim. Okay. Make sure that he or she is still okay. Okay. And that's the little demonstration for awesome. uh, an emergency choking victim. Okay. Lean forward. To hit the back first. You lean him forward. Get three quick blows bam, bam, on the bam. back. Okay. 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 And then you check to see if he's, he's yeah. still conscious. Okay. Or if the object has come out. Okay. If not, now you got to go to the thrust. Okay. Got okay. It. Now what about self Heimlich? Oh, the self Heimlich is just like the regular Heimlich. You're going to grab your stuff. You get, here's my sternum. So okay. I'm going to come right down here and get below um, um, my sternum, okay. right to the diaphragm, and you give yourself three quick thrusts the same way. Okay. All right? Okay. And I mean, it's going to take a lot because you are already struggling <laughs> to breathe. Okay. Okay. But when it's life saving, if okay. You can't do that. You also can lean your body onto a table. And give oh. yourself three quick thrusts uh, to try to push it out. Okay. 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 A chair. Any edge. Oh, uh, any edge. Yeah. Like, okay. All right. Yeah. Wow. Well, so, all right, guys. So there you have it. How to do the Heimlich maneuver. Thank you. <laughs> and isn't he a great instructor? I love it. Thank <laughs> I you. love it. All right. So, all right, guys. Youngstown Lifeguard Academy here in Youngstown. I mean, seriously, if you have a kid between 15 and 24, um, you definitely, and they love swimming, you definitely want to hook them up. Or even if they're interested, if you notice, get them connected because they can't, it can't hurt to teach them like how to swim or how to do, um, how to save somebody else's life. In fact, it could be somebody close to you. So, um, definitely reach out to them. You guys are on Facebook, right? Uh, no, we're not. No. Not okay. All right. So the non Facebook, they could visit your website. They can visit our website. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And that's academy.org. Perfect. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much, guys. Thank and, you. Thank you. Um, you're welcome. Always remember, you are the best part of what makes Shang Sun click. I'll talk to you later.